part four and I think I'm dead inside. <laughs> Hello there everyone. So this is um, Avery when she's already read the book. I got a preface saying a few things. This is the live reaction reading vlog for House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas, a part of the Crescent City series. I bought this book on release day so there's a clip of me doing that and there's a clip of me I'm reading the summary to y'all. After I start reading the summary to y'all, the later half of the video is going to be filled with spoilers. I will be crying, I will be laughing about scenes and telling you about scenes and characters. If you do not want to get spoiled, um, I would recommend stopping after I read the summary of the book to y'all. This book led me on a huge roller coaster of emotions, so I hope y'all enjoy this reading vlog. Today's March 3rd, and that is the release of Sarah J. Mass's new book in the Crescent series. Seer. <laughs> Crescent City series. And I'm in the parking lot of Barnes & Noble. My dumb butt forgot to pre-order this book. <laughs> So we're going to go in here and see if they have the book. I'm crossing my fingers, hoping they do. If not, that's perfectly fine. I'm traveling home for spring break in a couple of days. And I think that's when I want to read this book is over spring break. So uh, let's go. Hey y'all, it's actually many weeks later. <laughs> I am picking this up finally. I haven't started it yet at all since I bought it. I haven't even read the summary, so I thought it would be a fun thing to maybe read the summary with y'all. I thought that'd be really fun. Bryce Quinlan had the perfect life, working hard all day and partying all night until a demon murdered her closest friend, leaving her bereft, wounded, and alone. When the accused is behind bars, but the crimes start up again, Bryce finds herself at the heart of the investigation. She'll do whatever it takes to avenge their deaths. Hunt Athalar is a notorious fallen angel, now enslaved to the archangels he once attempted to overthrow. His brutal skills and incredible strength have been set to one purpose, to assassinate his boss's enemies no questions asked. But with the demon wrecking havoc in the city, he's offered an irresistible deal. Help Bryce find the murderer and his freedom will be within reach. As Bryce and Hunt dig deep into Crescent City's underbelly, they discover a dark power that threatens everything and everyone they hold dear, and they find in each other a blazing passion, one that could set them both free if they'd only let it. With unforgettable characters, a sizzling romance, and Paige Turner's suspense, this originally inventive new fantasy series by number one New York Times bestselling author Sarah J. Maas delves into the heartache of loss, the price of freedom, and the power of love. Okay, Ollie, <laughs> I'm gonna throw this ball. And also the cover is gorgeous. Um, I am super excited, that sounds amazing. It's close to maybe 800, 700 pages. I'm gonna read this book and throw to my doggos. Okay, I'm currently on chapter two only. It's been a busy couple days. This world is very interesting. I don't really know how to categorize it because I don't think it's urban fantasy, but they have a lot of the same technology we have. Like there's a phone, there's uh, like electricity. Like I don't, I don't know if this is a whole new fantasy world or like a secret city in like our world that we don't know about that has magic in it. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, they have like phones and stuff like that. So I'm very interested to figure out what kind of world this is. <laughs> I'm only on page like 16 and there are like so many names already. <laughs> I haven't read a fantasy book in a quite some time, probably since Kingdom of Ash came out and I read that in literally three days and I was used to all those characters, you know what I mean? Uh, so far, I just know about Bryce and Danica. Hopefully that's how you pronounce her name, Danica. Correct me if I'm wrong, because who knows with Sarah J Maas characters. Uh, but I did like how for some of these characters, she's gotten a little bit more tamer on uh, the names. <laughs> like, I know how to say Bryce, you know what I mean? So far it looks like Bryce and Danica have a very close friendship, and Danica is like, I want to say like a werewolf, but she's like a wolf shifter. There's so many different fantastical creatures. I'm going to be a very... I feel like that's going to be a very hard thing for me to grasp for a little bit, because there's different... Um, terms and then she wears this sword that's like very coveted in this city I'm pretty sure that was handed down by her 
grandfather. So I'm thinking maybe the sword has something to do with this. And that's my theory. Because it's kind of like, from the summary, it looked like Bryce is trying to find something or to avenge her friend's deaths. So what if Danica dies, dude? I don't know. Danica's like her best friend. So like, I think that might be it. Okay. Who's Connor? And why do they have like sexual tension? Like, did something happen in the past with them? Or are they going to hook up in the future? I find it very interesting how open the whole book is about sex so far. We're only on, like, page, like, 35 or something. So, Sarah Jamas has totally switched into adult mode <laughs> for this book, definitely. But, like, Connor, like, staring at her intently all the time. And I'm like, is something going on? Or is something going to go on? I don't know. And then, who is the love interest? Who's his name? Hunt? I don't know, I don't have the dust jacket with the summary, but his name is not Connor. The love interest is not Connor. And then she already has like a kind of boyfriend. There's a lot of dudes here, <laughs> which good for her. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a little confused on how the book is going to play out and who her like love interest is going to be. And if it's many, cool. But like the summary like hinted that there would be one. So I'm like intrigued as to... Um, how many guys are really interested in her and there was something about another guy in the pack named Thorn I love the name Thorn by the way from like Thorn and Crest from the Lunar Chronicles I love the name Thorn but anyway Thorn and Danica like Bryce was kind of hinting that Thorn and Danica like had like a pull towards each other but they're like not together or anything like that I'm only like 30 pages in and I love this pack I love this pack please don't let the pack die <laughs> I don't want the pack to die <laughs> Knowing Sarah J. Mass, the pack's gonna die. <laughs> We're only on page 67, and there have already been many, 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 many deaths. Danica, Connor, Thorn, the whole pack is dead. Thanks to a clear, transparent, see-through, gross-ass monster. That's so sad. <laughs> All of her friends are dead. Her, like, future love of her life is dead. Her best friend her life is dead. All of them are dead. How in the heckity heck did that even happen? Why did it happen? Well, I guess that's what the whole book is going to be about. Oh. Hello. Anyway, um. Meow. Meow. There she is. Hi, Savannah. Hi. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this book. I feel like it can go anyway i do love bryce i love her i don't know what's gonna happen because all of her friends are dead now i'm on chapter seven we finally met hunt in the last chapter after bryce is in like the what's that room called the uh, um the interrogation room there's the word and then like she releases this huge power in her after she's hearing her best friend being like literally sliced to death like it's horrible and she releases this power and hunts like she actually has power even though on the on her file it said she didn't have power so maybe that's gonna be explored in this book is uh bryce's potential power but i'm really sad for her her best friend and all of her other friends died like she literally saw her best friend's body in her bed there's a part of me that hopes that like danica's not actually dead and that this is all some like ruse or something to like get Briggs or like Danica's mom in trouble. I don't know, but like there's part of me and an inkling that like hopes that Danica and the pack aren't actually dead and it's all like a ruse. <laughs> but um, I kind of doubt that. <laughs> I'm at the part where Bryce's cousin who's a fae shows up at the, I wanna say like police office. It's like a police office, I don't know. Also, I didn't know that Hunt had wings. Hunt has wings. I don't remember what they're like called, like his like species, they're not, they're like angels basically, but like Malachim. Malachim? I think that's Malachim. Um, but apparently he's like a slave kind of like a slave and like enslaved because he and a bunch of other people rebelled against someone there are so many names 
in this book <laughs> a lot going on he rebelled against someone with a bunch of other people and now they were they have like a tattoo across their forehead to show that they were rebels once i'm pretty sure that's where the tattoo comes from book is complicated but i'm enjoying it i love sarah J. Mass's writing okay i'm trash for it i like it a lot it's just a lot to digest because it is a fantasy so i gotta get back into the swing of reading fantasy still got a huge chunk of the way to go <laughs> i've only read this much and it's 89 pages i've only read 89 pages and i still have this much to go and they're bible pages we're now on chapter 10 just a little bit over 100 pages there's so many characters there are so many characters in so many terms oh my word we finished part one of the book we're now in part two and that is 22 months after danica and her pack's death so bryce now hasn't drinking any alcohol since that night which i don't blame her she i believe has a dog or some sort of pet now in a fancy apartment that danica gave her in her will turns out i think his name's run rune rune run i'm not sure but the fey prince is her brother not her cousin didn't know that i just read hunt's chapter hunt's first chapter of like him himself the reason why he has the tattoo on his forehead is because he belongs to someone now micah the arch archangel so micah became his like owner after a big battle that he had and hunt was kind of like the right hand man to like this woman who uh, killed many people and had um hunt kill many people for her and so when micah has control of him now he's like you can become free when you kill as many people as you killed in battle it turns out he killed like and the people he commanded it killed like two thousand something people so once he kills two thousand something people he will be free and he said i've been working and been under basically his command for four years and i've only killed 82 people so this dude <laughs> this dude's gonna be gone for a while then the synopsis said that this trip that he goes on with bryce or this quest he goes on with bryce will like help him become free is he just gonna kill a bunch of people on this quest <laughs> I don't know we will see <laughs> excuse the disgusting hair i am i know that i need to wash it i'm gonna put it in a braid anyway because i'm too lazy to wash my hair um so i'm on page 231 only this far away through the book i just want to say i love the, like fire pixie i love lehaba that's her name lehaba i love her she reminds me of tinkerbell <laughs> um but like i guess with fire magic and um it's really funny I love the scene when like Hunt comes into the like is it just called like a antique store that they work at like a high-end antique store and Lehaba is like knocking on the door because she has to stay downstairs to like guard stuff she's like knocking on the door like Rice are you okay and Bryce is like yeah I'm fine well I won't know if you're okay unless I see your face so you better come down here she just wanted to see hunt and like swoon over hunt <laughs> i love her if she dies or something i'm gonna be hella pissed her dog's not a dog it's a chimera it's like part dog part lion part something else and apparently like i don't know if bryce knows but hunt was on the phone on the phone with i forget his name but like the other uh angel dude i woke up this morning um, in a compromising position that bryce saw me in and he's like well what do you mean and he's like, well, apparently Chimera can, like, jump, like, place to place. Like, basically teleport. Her Chimera teleported to my building across the way, bit me on the ass, and then teleported back to the apartment. And so Bryce opened up the curtains and saw me touching my ass. <laughs> Probably the uh, most I've left. The scene with Lehaba and then the scene that scene with the chimera for your two scenes so far <laughs> this whole time hunt thinks that bryce is like this prissy party girl who just thinks about herself she just thinks about herself all day long and doesn't think of others and is just worrying about herself little does he know 
This whole freaking time, she's been investigating, looking into things, and setting things up. And he's like, whoa, you're not who I thought you were. I loved that. So, we just met the Viper Queen. Find her very interesting. She kind of reminds me of Amarin from the Akatar trilogy a little bit. With just the way she was described and the way that she acts. She reminds me of Amarin a little bit. I'm really excited because I want to know how... Rune. Is it Rune or Run? I don't know. Is there a pronunciation guide in this one? I don't know if it's Rune or Run. But I read a GR word book that has the character's name spelled the exact same way. R-U-H-N and his name is pronounced Run. I don't know. I'm very confused. I guess I gotta pick one. I want to know how he plays into this because his dad and Bryce's dad is basically like uh tells him you are going to find a wife. We're gonna set you up. Yeah, so you can produce an heir. And apparently, the Fae see an oracle when they're 13. And the oracle told him that your bloodline will end with you. I'm very interested to see how this plays out. I'm very interested in, like, oracle-based things. I think that was, like, my favorite part about the Percy Jackson series was them going to see the oracle. One of my favorite things about that series. So I want to know what Bryce's was. Because apparently there's a whole thing about going to... Um, her father's house when she was 13 and I'm pretty sure she was like running away in tears and never saw them again I never saw him again in person and I think that was the time when she saw the oracle and like got her future told so I'm very interested to see what all that is about we're at the 300 page mark now actually 315 page mark now Hunt and Bryce they're really warming up to each other I just want them to bone already <laughs> I want them to get together already. <laughs> the scene just happened where Hunt saw Sandriel, I believe that is how you pronounce her name, who is the twin to Shahar, who was his lover, I'm pretty sure. Sandriel killed her twin sister, and Sandriel is now the archangel, or has been the archangel, I don't know. There's a lot of information in this book, and he just saw her, and he froze, basically flipped out seeing her. Then Micah was like hitting on Bryce and was like, I'm having dinner with you. And she's like, not interested. Apparently we get more Oracle stuff that I wanted because Hunt is going to go see the Oracle. I'm very excited. I don't know why I love Oracle based things. So I'm very excited about that. We met the Oracle. She told Hunt to stay away from Bryce. And then Bryce told him what happened at her like Oracle ceremony thing when she was 13. And she didn't even get her future because the oracle looked right at her and started screaming bloody murder and ripping her eyes out. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> what does that mean? I, I want to know Bryce's future now. <laughs> I have a theory. They're talking about Danica's, her last whereabouts before she died. And apparently, like, she was stationed inside the temple where the horn is. My theory is that she went to the temple, like, before she came and saw Bryce, like, that first chapter. And she put her sword and her bag in the closet at the antique shop whatever so i'm thinking danica put it in the bag and then put the bag in the closet to keep it for safekeeping and i don't think bryce has even mentioned stuff in that closet at all but like what happened to the sword did they just keep it all there that's my theory and i'm thinking that danica my theory is that danica took it even though they haven't come to the conclusion that danica might have taken it i really hope i'm right because that'd be freaking awesome if i'm right <laughs> i'm at part three now which is called the canyon i still say it's in the closet i'm pretty sure that horn is in the freaking closet at the place then i'm also thinking it might not be because isn't like rune like drawn to the horn and wouldn't he be drawn to the closet i don't know <laughs> but i just want bryce and hunt to get the frick together already he's like comforting her and touching her leg i just want them to bone already and to realize that they love each other i'm so ready for it rune just went to see the med witch i'm pretty sure is probably the queen of the witches now that's my theory she didn't give him her name he didn't ask for her name and then he said that the new queen's name was hypaxia and that the old queen had recently passed the med witch seemed really really sad so i'm thinking she's the new queen that's my theory because also rune's dad the autumn king was like you're gonna marry a witch i think he's gonna marry her she's the witch queen that's my theory we're on page 423 
and the scene just happened where they went to go see Sabine and all the other wolves in like their territory and everyone just chewed into Bryce. I feel so bad for her. All these thoughts in her mind that you can see are about her guilt about Connor and about Danica. She saw Danica's grandfather when she was running out of there and he like smiled at her. And Ethan, dude, 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 he needs to chill. I feel so bad for her. And Hunt the whole time was trying to comfort her, like touching her with his wing. I was right. Danica stole the horn. I freaking knew it. I'm on page 452 now. Hunt and Bryce almost got together. But they didn't and i'm sad and i want them to get together at least we know that sabine didn't kill her though because i don't know who killed her i think she maybe faked her death that was my theory at the beginning of this book that the wolves aren't actually dead i don't know if you can hear me very well there's a fan on but i just got to the scene where bryce like takes care of hunt after he has to go kill some people i think he's so cute and i just want them to get together already i just want it to happen Things were just getting good. He had their first little kiss, and then his wings were cut off. <laughs> that whole scene messed me up. What the, what's going on? Everything just went to crap. I don't know what's going on. Apparently Hunt knew everything. Just one chapter and everything went to crap. Did she dream all of this happening in this one chapter? <laughs> I don't think that Danica took the drugs. That can't that couldn't have happened. Please tell me that's not what actually happened. I'm so confused and really disappointed in Hunt right now. We're on part four and I think I'm dead inside. I don't know what's going on. This book is messing me up. She always gets to shorten into the sick. Bryce doesn't get any happiness. What the, what the? I was crying thinking about Bryce because everyone she loves dies or messes her up or abandons her and uh it just happened again <laughs> this book is messing me up people have given this book five stars and i've really enjoyed it so it can't end badly right like it can't end badly right i'm so overwhelmed right now i just don't want the danica stuff to be true I don't. I don't want it to be true. But like, the under king said that she was like suffering and so like, she obviously did something to make her suffer. And her killing herself on her whole pack because of drugs would cause suffering. I am on page 672. Almost 100 pages left, 130 pages left. I have no idea what's gonna happen. So the summit has started. Oh my gosh, there was the scene where Bryce like offered to trade places with Hunt. Cassandra owned him. Oh my word. She's now in the library of the antique store. The scene just ended where Micah comes walking down the stairs. What's going to happen? I really hope something bad doesn't happen. He like has been like wanting her this whole freaking book also i knew that that was queen hypaxia i freaking knew it i called it from day one when we met her that was queen hypaxia there we go and then she's kind of like flirting with the merman Therion. she is the horn i'm so confused <laughs> oh, it was tattooed on her <laughs> Micah killed Danica. <laughs> so Danica must have known that he was gonna take it, and so he she put it in her back. And that's why at the beginning of the book, she told her not to ever take off her amulet. It's all making sense, it's all making sense. I knew she wasn't addicted to that drug. I knew she did not kill herself. You come in to say hi. Yeah. We come and read with me. Okay. <laughs> she went into the knock the knox layer stuff's getting real y'all <laughs> don't tell me that she's gonna die that was gonna die no already 
free. She's already free. <laughs> then let the world know that my first act of freedom was to help my friends. She had magical powers the whole time. She's a starborn. She's a starborn. What? <laughs> what? 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 Hello. It is a while later. It's the next day. Yesterday I did finish House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. The last like 300 pages were a real wild ride. <laughs> so this book was very hard for me to get through in the beginning. I had only read maybe like 100 pages in like four days and I read like 401 at the end of this. It was very hard for me to like invest my time in because I think I got overwhelmed with all of the world building and like not a lot was going on as much as like the last 300 pages, you know what I mean? I do really love this book. I'm giving it five stars because I was thoroughly obsessed with it. I was in awe of the story that Sarah J Maas could tell and I was in awe on how I felt about this book because I didn't know there would be a murder mystery aspect in it and I don't read murder mysteries. I don't read thrillers. I don't read mysteries. I don't read horror anything and this book kind of had a little bit of all of that and I kind of enjoyed it. To be honest I don't think I would enjoy it in like the modern setting. I really enjoyed how she incorporated a new world and new things like coming from her brain. I love that. It kind of like opened my eyes to hmm I may like certain aspects of a genre that I thought I would never like. The many plot twists in here completely freaked me out as you could see because normally when there's like a mystery aspect in like a romance book it's so blatantly obvious that that's why I've said I don't like mystery books, I don't like thriller books because I can tell the twist pretty early on and I most of the time get it right. I did not expect that twist or many of those twists. I still had a little inkling of hope that the pack and Danica on like a witness protection program or something and like <laughs> like gone somewhere and not actually died um but no they actually died. I really loved that scene with uh Danica being her anchor. I loved that. This book isn't a romance book, if you know what I mean. Like, I was expecting this to be a fantasy book mainly centered around the romance between Hunt and Bryce. And that was a part of it, but that wasn't the overall book. Um, and I actually surprisingly really enjoyed that. <laughs> um, first of all, the tension was killing me. But this book was mainly about Bryce and who she is and her realizing who she is. I think it was mainly just a story about a friendship and I love that. I love friendship stories. The bond you can form with someone that's not a part of your family or romantic interest like is such a tight bond and I loved reading about that. I loved it. I loved Danica. I loved Bryce. I loved Hunt. A scene that I really loved was uh, the scene where Micah comes and she freaking kills him. Thank goodness. <laughs> I will say I cried with Lehaba's death. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm gonna cry thinking about it. That was horrible. I literally stated at the beginning of the video, if Lehaba dies, I'm gonna be hella pissed. I was hella pissed and hella sad. <laughs> I'm very interested to see what will happen in the next books. I'm kind of thinking that since this book is called House of Earth and Blood, the next book is going to be titled Another House. You know what I mean? Is it gonna follow the same characters? Because they were kind of told, we need you to go under the radar or we're gonna kill you. Like, you need to mind your own business now if you want to stay safe and for Hunt to keep his freedom. Are the next books gonna be centered around like different characters, kind of like companion books? Cause that would be pretty cool. Like imagine if like Rune had his own book, that'd be pretty cool. I'd want to read about that. And then Thanion got his own book. The like letter from the author at the end, the acknowledgements section made me cry bawling because the last paragraph was for her son. Oh my word. In the acknowledgement section, she thanked J.R. Ward. She said how she was grateful for the advice and the friendship that she had given her. They both have a rune or run in their book and Sarah's like, I hope you don't mind that we both have this character name. And she was like kind of inspired by J.R. Ward. So she put one of the names from J.R. Ward's book into her own book. And in the audiobooks, it's pronounced 
run. So am I supposed to pronounce it the same way? I don't know. I hate not knowing. <laughs> Just tell me how it's pronounced. Anyways, uh, sorry for the very long video. I know this is a very long reading vlog. Let me know down below what you thought of House of Earth and Blood. I would love to know. Um, I'm very, very, very excited for the rest of the series. I love this series a lot and I'm going to read the next books no matter what. So let me know down below what you thought of the book, favorite characters, favorite scenes. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching and I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.